Hi guys, I'm so glad you could join us today. I have some more fall inspiration for you using our new fall release. So these are some super cute tags that you can easily create. Now, if you don't have the same die as me, I'll show you how to make the top to your tag. So I used these three stamps. These are from our new release. I used the Thanks A Latte uh, Sentiment from this Pumpkin Spice Everything stamp. I used the pumpkin, the coffee cup, the acorns, the maple leaf, and the gnome, and the little splatters from that set. And that is our fall gnomes set. And this is our You, Me, and Pumpkin Spice set. I used the girl, the large um, pumpkin mug, the small pumpkin mug, this cute squirrel, the acorn, and the sentiment you had me at Pumpkin Spice. So here are the super cute tags. I think they turned out so cute. I also did use the new digital stamp set called Pumpkin Spice that's in my shop. So it features a variety of pumpkins and I used them for the background on these two tags here. I thought it turned out super cute. I have a layer here for my ground and it's just a grassy hill die. That one is from CC Designs. And then the top there, I'll show you how to do that to add to your tag. Um, I think it gives it an extra cuteness. I tied it up with some ribbon and twine. And then I did ground the images with that stamp. Super, super cute. Here's the little gnome one, thanks a lot, Tay. This one's got that twine. And I matched up the coloring for that. Same with this one. This is the one, Pumpkin Spice Everything. I just love her. She's the little um, girl from my logo. She's so cute. And then the two pumpkins with the coffee mug down below. So really simple to create. So if you have any um, tag die, you can use that. Or you can cut out your own tag shape. Now if your tag die doesn't have this piece here to make the topper, you can make your own. So if you only have this as your tag, so you can make your own with a piece of paper. You can use, um, you can make your own stripes or use pattern papers like something like this. Um, to do the stripes, I'll show you really quick. What I did was just took one of my markers and I just made a bunch of stripes. Just freehanded them. I don't care if they're not straight or not. I think it looks fun when they're actually a little wobbly, so I didn't mind that at all. You just have to make sure that your stripes go far enough to fit across your panel and that they're tall enough. Okay. Now what I think would look really cute if I did the stripes this way as well. So let's try that. Okay, so all you have to do is cut off the bottom to make your clean edge. So I'll just take my trimmer here. So I got my clean edge. which I'm going to line up with these two corners. And then just put some glue on the back of this. I could put it on right on the tag. However you want to do that. If you want to put it on the tag or the piece of paper, that's up to you. And we're just gonna line this up. 
So it's touching both corners. And then we can turn that over and just press that down. You know, wait for it to dry a little bit before you trim off the edges. So you're going to cut from the back side and just trim those edges off following your tag. tag and now to get the hole go from the back side and line up your puncher and punch exactly where that hole is okay so now you've got your topper super cute if you um, if your tag doesn't come with a reinforcer like this one comes with different reinforcers you can use a brad reinforcer. Um, they have these thick ones and you squish them with the uh, crocodile. And there's a silver one. You just squish that down with your crocodile. Or you don't need one. You can just leave it as is. Just put your twine in there. So. Just thought I'd share that in case you wanted to make the topper and didn't have a die to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed these cute little tags and create some of your own. I really do enjoy making tags. They're just so fun and quick and easy to do. So thank you guys for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to check out our hop and giveaway that's going on right now. I'll have that YouTube video linked in the description box for you. Um, you can head on, head on over there, click the hashtag N2S fall release, and you'll see all the videos in that hop. And if you leave a comment on each video and then head on over to my raffle copter link, which will be in that video description box, you can enter for a chance to win three prizes. So I'm giving away a $25 gift certificate, a $15 one, and a $10 one to the not too shabby shop. So good luck on the hop guys. Thanks for checking it out and I'll see you real soon. Bye guys.